Why are people so unpleasant? I don't know. How can you respect something that defies respect? People do such trivial things and find enjoyment in the suffering of others. Well, that, that's a very general statement. Not all people are how you describe them. Yes, but uh, keep in mind that I also might be horrendously insane. That's just the heck of it, isn't it? The crazy person that knows they're crazy? I mean, this could all be just an imperceptible shifting of accepted realities. I guess so. So, uh, in your current state of reality, could you maybe let me go? I don't think so. I see. Well, uh, could you maybe loosen these restraints up a little bit? Hurts quite a bit. Very painful. Think of it as reassurance that you are not dead yet. That pain that you are feeling means that there is still life inside of you. And, uh, I wouldn't want to deprive you of that feeling. Your final assurance. Well, that's very nice of you, but... Could you just tell me what it is I said or did to end up here? I mean, I've never even seen you before today. You know, it's just one of those nagging questions one gets when they're tied up to all these... whatever they are. Hmm. You know, I can't exactly say what you did. Maybe you didn't do anything. But you are a person, and I can't say I like that. My days are less pleasant because of people like you. It will be the effigy which I will burn. You embody all the traits of those little goblins that I hate so much. But you're really not burning. No, being cut to pieces is more like it. But you're a person. Why don't you kill yourself? Believe me, I know what self-loathing is. But that would not be very productive. But what if I'm not like those goblin people? I mean... I mean, you probably could have found someone more deserving, you know? Like one of those greeters from Walmart. You know, I thought of that. But I was in no mood to look for one. But I probably could have done better. You seem like a nice person. Thank you. By the way, my name's Edgar. Pleased to meet you. My name is Johnny. But considering we're having this intimate moment, you may call me Nee. Like, with a K? Like, knee? No, but it's pronounced the same way. Okay, well, that, that's nice. Can I go now? No. No, I'm still gonna kill you. You see, I don't have the time to find anyone else, and I need your blood. My blood? You need my blood? Yes. Hence the cups. Well, uh, not your blood specifically, but I do need your blood. Will you please reconsider? You still can let me go, you know. No! No, no, no! Shut up! Save your noise for later! I see. You know, you're not acting the way I'd expect someone in your situation to react. Death usually has a more profound impact on a person. Why aren't you afraid? I'd rather not die, but it seems I have no say in the matter. I'm also not like you. I'm not clouded. I don't have any friends, any family. But I do have faith. You know, God and all that. Heaven for me, hell for you. So forget fear. I fear nothing. I envy your conviction. Well, that did nothing for me.